champs. Come on! It was back in 1934 when the first ever jersey number was officially retired by a team in honor of a former player. The sporting question was ice hockey, the team was the Toronto Maple Leafs, the number was 6, and the player was Ace Bailey, who played his whole career for the team between 1926 and 1933. Soon, the idea of retiring a jersey number for a standout athlete out of respect for their talents and commitment to their team became commonplace in most sports. But, sometimes, teams retire strange numbers that no one ever wore for the franchise, or other things that aren't even numbers at all, and the people in question aren't even players, or even remotely associated with the team. For the 1920 season, the Warriors relocated from Oakland, their home for 47 years, to San Francisco, moving from Oracle Arena to the Chase Center. Given their storied history with Oracle Arena, the team decided to show their respect for their former home like they would a former player, by retiring a number in its honor. Specifically, the number of years that the team had called their arena home. This 47 Oakland, California banner will be moved and hang at Chase Center next year. Now it's going to hang here all throughout the playoff run and then go to the new building at Chase Center to honor the 47 seasons that we saw Warrior basketball in the oldest and one of the greatest NBA arenas. As unusual as it was, the number of retirement was fitting as it embodied the commitment and unwavering support of Warrior fans who filled the arena year after year. Furthermore, it's fitting that the number 47 should be retired in reference to Oracle Arena, as it was the location where the player most associated with the jersey number 47 was murdered by Baron Davis. Not just with him scoring, but then also it opened up. Oh, Baron! Hello. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Time out in Baron's house. When the Celtics selected Jim Los Cutoff for the third pick in the 1955 draft, they wanted him for his defensive presence on the court to compliment Bill Russell. Although he indeed filled that role perfectly throughout the 50s and 60s, Los Cutoff is best known for his clutch offensive heroics in the 1957 NBA Finals, when he sunk two free throws in a double overtime victory over the St. Louis Hawks that gave the Celtics their first NBA championship. All up, Los Cutoff played for the Celtics for the duration of his nine-year NBA career, from 1955 to 1964, during which he became a seven-time NBA champion. At the end of his career, Boston wanted to retire Les Cutoff's number. However, he asked the team not to retire his jersey number 18 so that another player could wear it in the future. So, instead, the Celtics added a banner with Les Cutoff's nickname Lossy to the rafters. Two future Hall of Famers later wore the number. There was John Thompson, who only played briefly for the Celtics, but would make his name as a legendary college coach at Georgetown, for which he made the Hall of Fame as an official. Then there's Dave Cowens, for who the number 18 was later retired in honor of. During their time in the NBA, the Hawks have represented a number of cities. However, although the team won a championship in 1958, while in St. Louis, the franchise is best known as Atlanta's team. While in the city, the Hawks have had a number of ups and downs, but they've always had the support of the city council, specifically the mayor since 2009, Kasim Reed. In the mid-2010s, the Hawks were considering relocating their home base from State Farm Arena, where they'd been since 1999. In response, Reed convinced the team to remain where they were and signed an 18-year lease extension to remain at the city-owned arena through to 2046, with the city providing $142 million of the $192 million required for renovations. Additionally, Reed worked closely with the Hawks on both community and business basketball initiatives in the city, including restoring public basketball courts. With all this in mind, the Hawks decided to honor Reed in an unusual fashion by retiring his number. And in November 2017, Atlanta presented Reed with an authentic Hawks jersey with the number 59 on it, which they then immediately retired. And tonight, we are going to uh, re retire a ceremonial number 59 jersey uh, for all the tireless work that you've done to make this city great.
The unusual number was in reference to the fact that Reed was Atlanta's 59th mayor. The tribute marked the first time that a non-team member received this type of recognition from the Hawks. Thank you, everybody. God bless you. I appreciate the honor. Despite the Magic's relatively brief time in the NBA, the team has had a number of great players represent the franchise. Still, as of October 2021, even with their storied history, the Magic haven't retired a single jersey number for a star player. Instead, in 2014, which marked the team's 25th anniversary, the franchise announced that they would create a Team Hall of Fame. The Magic have retired one jersey number, though. In honor of the team's fans, the Magic retired the number 6, in reference to the fan base being the franchise's sixth man. Additionally, the Kings have also retired the number in tribute to their fans, for the same reason. Presumably, the move was a publicity stunt in both cases, as the two teams often had below average attendance rates when they made their respective decision to retire the number. In April 2003, the Heat retired the first ever jersey number for someone who never even played for the team. Before his final game in Miami, Michael Jordan was honored by the team when they retired his jersey number 23. Uh, we want to honor you tonight by hanging your jersey forever. Number 23 from the Raptors of the American Airlines Arena. You're the best. Congratulations, good luck, and thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Jordan! The jersey was multicolored to reflect the two teams that he played for, with half of it being red for the Chicago Bulls, who Jordan played for from 1984 to 1998, and the other half blue for the Washington Wizards, who Jordan played for from 2001 to 2003. Even though Jordan never played for the Heat, the team's coach, Pat Riley, made the decision to retire the number 23 in order to ensure that no Heat player would ever wear the number again, out of respect for what Jordan had given to the game of basketball. Oh, yes, 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 